let's talk about space. Let's talk about space, shall we? All right, so I'm gonna be talking about solar sails. Do you guys know what a solar sail is? Well, tomorrow they are coming out with a new documentary about the, the life of the solar sail because it was an idea first and has come full circle to become an actual spacecraft that is actually in space right now. It's pretty cool. And this is what um, this is what I saw floating around. It says sailing the light film premiere. It's actually premiering tomorrow. Um, let's see, 1 p.m. Saturday, August 28th at 1 p.m. Uh, I don't know what time zone it's in, but you're invited. The 2019 in 2019, the Planetary Society launched our very own spacecraft, Light Sail 2. The first one sadly blew up. Uh, this mission to sail on sunlight was made possible entirely like people like you, extraordinary original, uh, ordinary people who believe in a future of space exploration and who want to make it happen. Join us on YouTube on Saturday, August 28th. The show starts at 10 a.m. Pacific time. All right, so it's 1 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, when the film is over at about 10.45 a.m. All right, so it's only a short 45-minute uh, film. Uh, the CEO, Bill Nye, will take questions along with a panel of Light Sail 2 team members. You don't have to register. You just have to show up at the link. Uh, that's actually, um, it's pretty easy to just find. You just type in um, Sailing the Light. I'm sure Sailing the Light on YouTube will lead you right to it. It's free and it's really cool. So I'm absolutely going to be watching that tomorrow because I am a space geek and I absolutely love that kind of stuff. But not everyone knows what solar sailing is. So this is actually from the Planetary Society that he is the CEO of. Uh, solar sailing is a revolutionary way of propelling a spacecraft through space. A solar sail spacecraft has large reflective sails that capture the momentum of light from the sun and use that momentum to push the spacecraft forward. The Planetary Society's Light Sail 2 mission is one example of this technology in action. And here it is in front of a beautiful picture that is actually my back, background on my main computer. Uh, so this image is very familiar to me. It's the Milky Way. It's where we live in this wonderful universe. How does it work? Light is made up of particles called photons. Photons don't have any mass, but as they travel through space, they do have momentum. When light hits a solar sail, which is which has a bright mirror-like surface, the photons in that light bounce off the sail. They reflect just like a mirror. As the photons hit the sail, their momentum is transferred to it, giving it a small push. As they bounce off the sail, the photons give it another small push. Both pushes are very slight, but in the vacuum of space, where there is nothing to slow down the sail, each push changes the sail's speed. When a solar sail faces the sun directly, photons push the, the, sp face, uh, the spacecraft forward, away from the sun. But when a solar sail can move in other directions by tacking, uh, yeah, tacking like a sailboat, changing the angle of the sail relative to the sun, it's even possible to shift the spacecraft's orbit around the sun by angling the sail so that the solar photons push against the direction it's traveling. Solar sails can also control their direction in other ways, such as changing their center of mass or using tip vanes. Spacecraft gain most of their momentum when they are launched from Earth, and then most increase their speed or change course using chemical rockets that burn fuel that the spacecraft carries on board. But more rocket fuel means more weight, which limits how much can be carried. Most spacecraft reach their maximum speed, then coast through space or rely on gravity assists from other planets to reach their destination. With solar sails, a spacecraft can continue accelerating as long as there is light pushing on it. Within a solar system, sunlight can continuously push on the sail, accelerating the spacecraft throughout its entire voyage. This means that solar sail propelled spacecraft can reach speeds that would practically be impossible for chemical rockets to achieve. Solar sail spacecraft are also advantageous because they can be placed in orbits 
that would otherwise be unstable by using the sail acceleration as a balancing force. As an example, this could enable solar monitoring missions to sit between the Earth and, and the Sun at a closer distance than otherwise possible to provide more warnings of solar storms. What is it made of? Current solar sails are made of lightweight materials such as mylar or polyamide, coated with a metallic reflective coating. Sail Light 2 uses four triangular mylar sails that are just 4.5 microns or one five thousandth of an, of an inch thick. They unfold using four cobalt alloy booms that unwind like tape measures. The sail has a combined area of 32 square meters. And you can actually see someone standing here. So you can kind of tell, it's, this thing is massive. You know, you can, I don't know how tall they are, but you can see here's a woman standing there. Uh, yes, I just gendered that random person in the picture. Uh, Current, um, yeah, yeah. So how long or how big does the sail have to be? There is theoretically no minimum size for a solar sail, but for the same mass spacecraft, bigger sails will capture more sunlight and accelerate the spacecraft more quickly. A NASA team in the 1970s, headed by Planetary Society uh, co-founder Louis Friedman, propelled a solar sail with a surface of 600,000 square meters uh, that would be used to send a spacecraft to rendezvous with Halley's Comet. This was equivalent to a square of 800 meters by 800 meters, the size of 10 square blocks in New York City. That's very large. Of course, the practicality of building and deploying such an enormous sail is questionable, but if such a sail could be successfully deployed or developed, amazing destinations could be reached. A solar sail's speed depends on its size and its mass. A bigger sail captures more sunlight, gaining more momentum and accelerating more quickly for the same mass. For a given sail size, a lower mass spacecraft will have a higher acceleration. The acceleration also depends on its distance from the light source and strength of the light source. As a solar sail spacecraft gets further away from the sun, the amount of sunlight available to it decreases meaning that it accelerates less quickly. Theoretically, powerful lasers could be aimed at a distant solar sail, providing some extra acceleration as the spacecraft gets further from the sun. To give a specific example of solar, speed, uh, solar sail speed, Sail Light 2 has 32 square meter sails accelerated at just 0 0.058 millimeters per second squared in the one month of constant sunlight, the spacecraft speed would increase by a total of 549 kilometers per hour, roughly the speed of a jet airline at cruising speed. Wow. Larger sails or small sails accelerated by lasers could theoretically go much faster. In 20, uh, 2016, the group Breakthrough Initiatives announced a plan to send a fleet of tiny laser powered solar sails to our nearest star, Alpha Centauri. The spacecraft would be targeted by space or in space by earthbound earth-based lasers and accelerate to 20% the speed of light. That is so crazy and awesome. You know, it makes me think too, like would we be able to make a spacecraft that has a light sail with like imagine you have a spacecraft and here here's the front of the spacecraft and that's the light sail, right? And it's kind of got a long body almost opens up like this with lasers that are on the ship that shoot lasers at the at the sun sail and it just accelerates accelerates and accelerates and then maybe at like the halfway point in the journey the the front sail gets closed and the back sail opens and then the other side the lasers go to the other side for the eventual you know slowing down to get to the point that you can you know, arrive at a location. It's kind of a cool thought process. Hmm. I don't know if it would be, it would work. I'd have to ask a uh, farm engineer because he's an engineer and he was all about, well, I think he was, I don't know if what kind of space engineer he was, but I got to get him back on the show and talk to him about it. Let's see. Of course, it's expensive. Building a solar sail, especially a very large one, is a feat that still needs development. And that research and development can be expensive. 
But once solar sails are better tested and understood, they can be relatively inexpensive means of propulsion. Sunlight is free and unlimited, uh, meaning that a solar sail propelled spacecraft could travel greater distances without having to increase the amount of fuel it carries on board and could potentially use smaller, cheaper launch rockets for the same trip. So to travel at great speeds to distant destinations or to provide long-term stability in an otherwise unstable orbit, solar sailing could be an affordable option. Hmm. The Planetary Society light sail spacecraft were, were funded entirely by society members, private donors, and backers of a crowdfunding campaign through Kickstarter. Together with these tens of thousands of people pooled their resources to build and launch solar sailing spacecraft. This is a historic demonstration of what is possible when people unite in support of space exploration. You know what? I'm going to leave it there. There's a lot more about... Um, actually, you know what? I'll show you one more thing. This is a uh, the history of solar sailing. Let me just uh, pop that up so I can zoom into it. 1608, Johannes Kepler theorizes that sails and ships could be adapted to the heavenly breezes. Gotta love that. That's so cool. 1964, Arthur C. Clarke publishes The Sun Jammer, a solar sail science fiction story. 1975, NASA designs a solar sail spacecraft to possibly visit Halley's Comet. 1976, Carl Sagan shows a model of the Halley, of the Halley solar sail on the Tonight Show. 1980, the Planetary Society is founded. 1999, the Planetary Society begins work on Cosmos 1, a privately funded solar sail spacecraft. 2005, Cosmos 1 launches on a Russian Volna rocket. The rocket fails to reach orbit, unfortunately. 2009, this, the Planetary Society begins the development of light sail. 2010, JAXA successfully launches Icaros, the world's first um, solar sail spacecraft. 2015, LightSail 1 launches aboard the Atlas V rocket and successfully completes its mission. 2019, LightSail 2 launches, aboard, launches with Prox 1 aboard a SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket. And now it is out in space right now. I'm interested to hear more about it and watch this documentary tomorrow. You know, say what you will about uh, the people in, in control about it. Uh, some of them are... <sighs> What's the, that's, what's the word from one of my favorite presidents? Everything that's woke goes to shit. <laughs>